so excited or so stoked and excited I'm gonna have a blast. This is where I feel alive. Me too. Huh? Me too. Sam Houston. Nice to meet you. Nice Ethan to Page. Meet you. Hmm? Ethan Page. Ethan? Yep. Page? Yep. Any relation? To Diamond? Yeah. No, not even Adam. I don't know. Yeah. No. I don't get TNT in Canada either. Oh. <laughs> you better give me extra money for that. Ethan Page, not Ego Tet, Ego Fantastical. I, I thought that was you, but or, I, I always thought when I saw all Ego, I always thought it was him. Him? For the longest time. Why? Because Ego. Okay. And I didn't know you because you're not really relevant. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> but now I know you because you book me. <laughs> all right, where are we going? Who do you want to see? Tessa? Oh yeah, I want to see Muda too, obviously. How long has he been gone? Same size. How are you? Hi, Tessa. Oh, I don't want to pull you away. Let me tell you something. You guys want to have your 999 because you're evil. Because when you turn them back over, it's 666. It's, uh, we're doing a super vlog for high spots. Okay. We're just stopping and saying hello to all my friends. Oh, you like my calendar? It's kid friendly. That? This is kid, <laughs> kid friendly? Yeah, I like to hang out with Brian every once in a while. We were going to work out this weekend, but you know, we were. You said no. We're both Canadian. Do not forget that. Yeah. <laughs> A man don't scare me. So, just made it to the Marriott in uh, North Carolina for Wrestlecade, and I'm here for three days. And all I want to know is, who the f is this room for? A movie star? Ooh. Damn! Oh, man, it feels good to be treated good. I'm so excited to take a nap. I'm gonna grab some food with Hornswoggle and uh, yeah, we got a show tonight and some autographs to sign, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, these rooms are sick. Sweet Mark Andrade shirt. A what? Andrade the Giant. Andre? I know you hate tall people, but come on, bro. Andre's the man. Anyway, so we're going to go to the show, Showcase of Champions. Thank you for that sound bite there. And uh, I'm vlogging, but also, High Spots is vlogging too. And we're going to put together a super vlog over WrestleCade weekend. Uh, I was just in Hornswoggle's room, but they made me come to my room so that we could do this fake intro before we go do <laughs> set up merch and stuff like that. So yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Wrestling. Impact wrestling belt. Yeah, gotta keep it. Look at that seatbelt. Secure. This is adorable. Hold on, I'll show you this. So every time I pack, my daughter likes to just jump in my bag, and she ended up dropping this in. That's when she first started playing with toys, and uh, I just kept it in my bag ever since. Baby face in real life, everybody. You're a good dad. I try. I'm like Dan the dad that you created. Dan the dad is the greatest <laughs> gimmick and character of all time. Do you get a cut? Of what? <laughs> Maybe one day. Of New Balance shoes? Yeah. He should get sponsored by New Balance. Are you going to beep out my swears like I do or are you going to be lazy? I don't beep swears, but I can beep that one if you don't want to swear. Yeah, that'd be great. Hell yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, that actually fucking hurt. hurt so much. Did you much. really do that? Huh? Did you really do that? Dude, I literally just hit myself in the yeah. That hurts so much. It's gonna leave a mark too. Hello, 
man, Scott. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the most intense hello ever. Oh, you guys have like a freaking. Yeah. Oh my god! to do two rooms if we want. Holy crap. There, we got this room over here. We're trying to figure there, out. Wait, is there another room here? Yeah, there. It's okay. Yes. Oh my god. Don't let my wife see any of this. We'll be redecorating my entire house. This is uh, where the Iga's Amiga's magic will happen this weekend. Hopefully. Who's going to be some guests? We need some guests. It's okay. The fireside chat. We'll just get the smaller room. We'll the yeah. Room. We'll We're just getting started. <laughs> oh my God. Small little independent thing we got going on over here. So wild. It's a nice ass room. That is a blinding light. I feel so obnoxious that you're following me around with a camera. Like so obnoxious. I just can't wait for the first one to be like, "Who the fuck is that guy?" Oh yeah, beep that up. <laughs> Will you dock my pay every beep or what? You know the first rules when you're home off the lease. I love that you're following me and I have no clue where I'm going. Oh, you're going straight across across the street and then down, and then you'll see it. That's it? Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey, film them. He's wearing an impact shirt. <laughs> Giant truck with a wrestling on it. <laughs> Look at what the hell? None of those guys are gonna be here tonight. Put me on the truck. At least I'm here. But we gotta go get that truck and get a shot of it. I hope they were on the flyer too. It's like Matt Hardy, AJ Styles. We can jaywalk and film it. Oh my god, we're going to jail! Oh, it's the alumni. That makes sense. I mean, they can still book Tommy Dreamer. Is, Is he not, here? I think so. Oh, okay. Only 80% false advertising, I think. Okay, let's see something. Alright, CW, Caleb. Oh, you know, oh. Mr. Oh, Pinky, uh, I've got this for you. Appreciate it. Mr. Julian, <laughs> whenever you're going back. Hey, 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 no problem. Oh, shit, what's up, dude? What's up, guys? <laughs> How you guys doing? Good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Oh, oh did he leave? I was going to thank him for opening the door. Yo, it's a nice building with lots of people. Can we just walk through them? Where are we going? Uh, it's the Winston 2, I think. Hey, can we film enough interviews that I can buy a new set of headphones this weekend? Because they broke. I'm just being real with you, okay? What brand were they? Uh, they were Beats by Dre, but they're not by Dre anymore because someone bought them, right? But yeah, they broke. I'm very upset. You know, first world problems. We going here? Is this where I do my merch too? It's, it's connected. What's up, guys? I'm so excited. Oh. So stoked and excited. I'm going to have a blast. This is where I feel alive. Me too. Huh? Me too. Sam Houston. Nice to meet you. Nice Ethan to Page. Meet you. Hmm? Ethan Page. Ethan? Yep. Page? Yep. Any relation? To Diamond? Yeah. No, not even Adam. I don't know. Yeah. I don't get TNT in Canada either. Oh. <laughs> you better give me extra money for that. What's up, Pat? How you doing? Hey, uh, Michaela was looking for you. So merch is in this yeah, area? Oh, this is Brian with AML. You ever never met? What's up, man? Real life. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Real life. What is real life? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know anymore. No, not here. I don't know. Hey! It's Kincaid. Well, let me read these names. Reserved. Maybe that's me. Animal. Hopefully Batista. 
What's up, man? How How's are you? Chance. Julian. Good to see you. Yeah, so much friend. Wait, 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 wait. I need to do this again. I'm sorry. Even if the camera wasn't here. Why'd you introduce yourself if we've seen each other? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't like to make assumptions. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Now I feel bad. All right. We just making do with tables or? Uh, yeah, any that doesn't have a piece of paper on it, I think, are free game. Oh, sick. Take this one out. Is Swaggle just on the big show? Okay. You have to edit this out. I don't know if he's booked or not. And I don't think he knows if he's booked or not. So we're going to have to ask him if this is going to hurt his feelings. Because he's my friend and I actually care. But I actually have no clue. And I don't think he does either. I'm not going to tell that right to the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edit it out. <clears throat> Oh man. Yo, these are sick. Is Sid Vicious gonna be here? Yeah. Oh my. Superhuman? It's my boy. Uh, okay, Sid Vicious. No show to show in Cleveland. And he blamed it on Trump. He's like, ah, oh, Trump got that travel ban. This was like over a year and a half ago, I think. And uh, I was for John Thorne, Cleveland, AIW. So I might ask him, be like, hey, what happened in that show you did in Cleveland? We'll see. We'll see if I got the balls. I doubt it. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Swaggle's table, too. Or if I have one. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Why you only got AEW merch? Where's the Impact merch at, huh? Let's go see if we can, if we brought any Ethan Page DVDs. Did I, you actually? I, well, I don't know the answer. I got like four in my bag, so. <laughs> Black Friday sale. I think the DVDs are under here. Wait, I think some have come out and I haven't even gotten them off you guys. Oh, you guys had room for these eight by tens though, huh? Cause they take up so much space. That's it, eh? Yo, I can't wait for my figure to come out. Oh, never mind, hold on. I can't wait for my <laughs> figure toy company figure to come out. Buddy, yeah, How's man. it going? Good. Nice to Good. meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you meet any uh, idiots so far for the oh, idiot? Oh, the whole, oh my gosh. The whole. Are they around? The best one so far uh, <laughs> uh, is a fan called us and wanted us to fix this. They bought a ticket for um, Friday, but wanted one for Saturday. Then why didn't they buy one for Saturday? I know that. <laughs> <laughs> they said, well, the ticket says Friday. I said, okay, that's because you bought the wrong ticket, stupid. So anyway, that started early this morning. So we ain't fixed that. Yeah. <laughs> so it can only get better than that. So, uh, no, it's so far so good. It's just, um, what's funny is there's names on the tables, but yeah. when you're dealing with wrestlers, that don't work. Uh, so everybody wants to move their tables. Yeah, yeah, but there's a reason your name is, uh, oh. So I just told one guy, I said, well, if we move you, then it, uh, interferes with someone else because yeah. you want to take their spot. So Sorry, just, Hornswoggle. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I can't move just, your table. <laughs> just sit, okay? Golly. We ain't even got hard yet. So, anyway, and that's after setting up two rings already. So, we've done set up two rings. That part's the, the ring's more cooperative than the wrestlers. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get through it. So, Thank I, you. man, I, I think I, this is Ethan's first wrestle cage. Oh, my it's goodness. My first wrestle cage. First time ever beating you, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I'm oh, excited gosh, about yeah. all this. Yeah. Well, you know, we, uh, I think it's like maybe seventh or eighth one yeah. that we've done. Uh, I can't even believe that. So, I love it. Uh, man. So uh, I, I told a guy a while ago, if you don't get something out of this weekend, you know, you, you ain't get, I mean, you're dead. <laughs> you know, I mean, golly, it's, it's new, old, I mean, yeah, a little bit of everything. Here. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited As about it. As a fan, it. So, this is awesome. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, just, you know what's amazing to me, and I love it being from the old days is when you go to put one of these things together, and I know young fans won't understand that, but like in 1960, they, the, a guy will have a grudge with somebody, yeah, and they still have it to this day, <laughs> you know. So, I think, what What did he do to you in 1960? You know, I mean, it can be something as simple as where you uh, poker game, and, and they remember this stuff. And so, when you go to put guys at a table from the old school, you really got to say, okay, is it okay if you sit beside 
So yeah, you're like planning yeah. a wedding. Oh, uh, I can't sit no, with you. Can't Dallas. sit with your uncle yeah, yeah. because your uncle hates you. <laughs> yeah. You know. And, and then he said, "Well, what did he do to you?" And he said, "Well, man, he owed me trans, you know, in like 1950, and he didn't pay it. Yeah. And they remembered it and lived with that this whole year. And I'm thinking, I mean, this whole, you know, all this time. And I'm thinking, I, I can't even do that. <laughs> what? It's making it too hard." Hey, everybody we've, that holds a grudge. Uh, uh, we've had two people set up their banners and ask me, did, was it enough room? I don't even have a stupid banner, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to sell some boxes, okay? But seriously, they set up these huge things, and they're saying, Do you think this is enough room? It's not going to interfere with anybody behind you. I said, I don't care if it interferes with who's behind you, as long as I ain't behind you. <laughs> I mean, God, right? So, uh, it's, it's going to be great. I mean, we're here. Uh, I don't even sleep. I mean, we've been here. We've been here since we came Wednesday. Okay. Uh, Jeez. And we started setting up Wednesday morning. It was here at 8 o'clock. Uh, we've done set up two rings, uh, almost over 1,000 uh, chairs. Uh, of course, the railing. Uh, and so, it'll all start here tonight. Uh, and that's just two rings, but then you ch interchange the turnbuckle pads. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got different queen, events. Yeah, you yeah. got different events. So, it's... Uh, we'll see how many students really want to, right. to do this. The best one, and then we'll be done. Wednesday, we set up everything. I mean, the work was done, we're getting ready to leave. My phone goes off. One of our students at my wrestling school uh, said they're on their way. I said, well, you better turn around and go the other way. Are you kidding me? I couldn't even. But you this think was he the, got a oh, message, he's like, all right, we're done. You can let them know you're on your oh, way now. This, I got one better than this, and this is the last one. So, <laughs> so, so Wednesday, we're done with everything. I mean, and we're getting ready to leave, and a guy comes in, one of the wrestlers, and he, Instead of just blending in and acting like you've been here the whole time, what does he do? He goes around to shake everybody's hand. <laughs> so he comes to me, and I know you ain't been here. So that's how stupid this guy was. You know, so I'm yelling. I wouldn't even shake his hand. That's how grudge I hold. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't even shake his hand. But I said, stupid, you should have just blended right in and acted like you've been. Phew. Man, that's hard work. I would have known the difference. So anyway, I really ain't shaking your hand. Get away from me. You ain't even been here. All I can't believe I just so. met him. I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, brother. Yeah, we'll go, let's, go, let's go talk to somebody else. <laughs> it's great. No, it's thank great you. Anytime, you. my friend. It's great my pleasure, you. brother. Thank you. I'm so Thank pumped. You. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now you got me pumped for this whole thing. <laughs> Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. Hello. Hello. How are you guys How are you, doing? Man? Pretty good. I'm good, I'm good. You mind if I just take a peek? Absolutely. How are you? Very good. Julian. Ethan Johnny Mitch. Mantel, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. I'm Kat. Hi, how are you nice doing? To meet nice to meet you. You guys this have is, a place this is, down in Texas? Well, this is the only brick and mortar Hall of Fame and museum in the world for professional wrestling, this museum right here. I mean, everybody, you know, you want to say Vince has one, but come on. That's Nothing real. to go see and put your hands on. That's the original Sportatorium sign from the building in Dallas, Texas. And you guys travel with this stuff? David Von Erich's will, jacket. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just a few pieces that we brought in for the show. I mean, we're in 7,000 square feet. We probably have about 60% of the collection now. All the way stuff, all just the way back coming. to 1,700. Yeah. Like the 1700s. I, I got an Emil Dusik jacket in the other day from his grandson that his grandfather wore in the 30s and 40s. And where are you based out of? Wichita Falls, Texas. Oh, about okay. an hour and 45 minutes north of Wichita Falls. Do you have a website or something? People we do, yeah. PWHF.org. PWHF.org, nice. ProfessionalWrestlingHallOfFame.org. Oh, yeah. Tell them who you are. And I'm, I'm, John, I'm the president of the board of directors, and I started. I had my first pro match in 1976. So I've been around quite a while. She started in 1990, and uh, the Hall of Fame, we just counted ballots the other day, and I'm looking for a couple guys coming in here so we can tell them about their induction, and then we'll make the announcement of this year's induction, which takes place in May, the third weekend in May. That's so cool. There's a wrestling show and a trade show, and then it goes right along with the induction. Ronnie Garvin's gonna be here. You can see a Hall of Fame ring on him. He'll yeah. have his on. Oh, that's so cool. He got his last year. Are you working this weekend? Yeah. yeah Tonight excited. or? All three days, yeah. Okay. Where are you out of? Uh, I'm from Canada, just outside of Toronto. Okay. And I uh, work for Impact Wrestling. Yeah. Cool. It's fun. But this is so cool. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Good time, man. Come back, bud. Hopefully, this gets you a couple more people to Absolutely. come check it out. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Thank you. Damn, that's so cool. You see that battery USA jacket? <laughs> Come on, bro, you're not gonna pop? My my father's shirt? You're wearing my father's shirt. Oh no, don't film this. Don't film this. Yeah, oh. stand up, you're kneeling down. Don't yeah, film there you yeah. go. Yeah. It's wearing my dad's merch. Yeah. I don't have this. Well, you, I should. You should get royalties at least. Yeah. I was I was wondering what I was I'm wearing a Deftones t shirt today. It's pretty standard. Yeah. My hand's so much bigger than yours, man. Don't hurt him. <sighs> hey buddy, how are you? Good man. Yeah. What are we filming here? Is this uh They're just following me around. Vlogging, yeah, you, yeah, no, you do vlogs. I do, yeah. That's they're hustle. trying to just steal everything from me. That's a lot of hustle. And my soul, now my ideas that I stole from other people, but uh, they're paying Joey's you for it, right? Shh. Okay, that's fair, yeah. That was fair, yeah. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna choke slam some people. Hey, today. are we wrestling or are we on the same? Oh, uh, yeah, we're wrestling. Ooh, I think we're wrestling tomorrow. I'm gonna choke slam your ding dong off. I'll just take a regular one. <laughs> you don't have to touch my ding dong. No, 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 no. It's gonna like choke slam, bam, and like the reverberation is pew. Oh, probably. It's gonna make a sound effect too. Sure. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Don't ever call me lazy again, Seth. No. I'm gonna take stupid pumps now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna over rotate them just a little back of the neck. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, by the way. I have a question. Yes. So, 12. what? I don't know. It's something my dad used to say when I. Oh, so, I'll pick that up. Yeah, so I'm a dad now. Yeah, um, you are. Who's managing you tomorrow? That would be the one and only Bill Alfonso. I'm being managed by Teddy Long. I win. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was a singles match, and then he turned it into a tag match. But I mean, come on, guys. Do you think? Do you think? You think old Mark Calloway is gonna be here? Why? Mm -hmm. No, Teddy used to always make matches with the Undertaker. <laughs> That's true. That'd be sick. If Taker walks out here, I'm going to choke slam his ding dong off too. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. don't know how offensive it is that I have to look up at him while we do this entire conversation. Yeah. I'm tall. I was sitting when you came in. Go on his Twitter and just watch all of his flip videos yeah. and then harass promoters while he's not on more shows. It just doesn't it's make ridiculous. sense. And now I had a Sorry. spicy grosper. I'm 7'4". Son of Andre, 7'4", the Snow Leopard of professional wrestling, chokeslam ding-dongs off. Yeah. I'm, the I last one's count. a liability, but the rest, I can't throw that on a poster. What comes after four? I don't know. Five. Hey, the guy over there with the beard, he drove me here today. Yeah. Come Is on, come on, get a video. One of them's Billy Brash. Okay. And I text WrestleCade. I was like, hey, his name's Ryan. He's a very nice guy. He apologizes way too much. Doesn't do anything wrong, but he says sorry. You know the type? Mm, like, yeah. too sweet um, for his own good. Yeah. Mm, I, so I text the promoter and I go, hey, I can't find Ryan. Like, no one sent me his number. Would you be able to blah, blah, blah? Anyways, I come down the escalator. Boom. Guy's right there like a true pro. Sir, I'm here to pick you up. And I'm like, whoa, 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 enough with the sir thing. So then I finally get a text from the promo and he goes, did Redbeard pick you up? <laughs> now, not only is that just <laughs> super hilarious, it's, I find out he's a referee. Oh. So they're just playing on red shoes and they call him Redbeard, Redbeard. and I think it's hilarious. Redbeard. That's a useless story, but. Oh. <sighs> Down the escalator. Hey, remember Austin Powers? Oh, it's down there. Oh. <laughs> I was literally like, Seth, are you messing with me? Uh, it's so crazy to me that like, like I, I've literally done indie shows where the ring doesn't show up. And I'm just like standing there and waiting to not get paid and then go home. Not recently, but.
It's just funny that there's two wrestling rings here set up. Perfect two days before the show. Oh. So this is tomorrow night. And yeah. What is your match? We kind of alluded to it. It was, it's a six man tag. I had to ask Everett who my partners and opponents were because I don't know. But Bill Alfonso and Teddy Long are the managers. That, that was the big selling part for me. And I think Daga's in it. I'm a big fan of his. Um, hopefully he's on my team. But I also enjoy wrestling against him. Matt Justice, psychopath. Hopefully he's on my team. Yeah, should be good. M Dog's in it too. I think Jason Kincaid and Everett. There you go. I know the match. I just don't know the partners. Just think pack out or what? There won't be a seat. It'll be to the wall, standing room only. Like that wall. Whoa, it's pretty wild. What, they do these once a year, same place, same venue, same everything. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thanks to you again, everyone. Oh, so it's like a traditional thing, which is even better. Yeah. And you got like nostalgia, your emotional attachment to it. Sometimes people are like, don't even want to go. Families just fighting on their way out the door, but got to go to Wrestle Cave, do it every year. They're smart, man. Those are smart. Yeah, beep that. Two. Yeah, that's four now. No swear. No swear. Yeah, oh, Dan Housen. <laughs> I love that Dan Housen. Me too. He's supposed to, though. <laughs> yeah? He's yeah. a Canadian guy, right? No, but he is married to a Canadian, so technically, he is Canadian. Hamilton Tiger Cats. Yeah, they, they made it. it. And they blew you know what's so awesome? Cup. Okay, so there's a wrestler. He used to wrestle for me for Alpha One. His name's Jim Nye, the science guy. Great gimmick. I gave him that as well. So no big deal or anything, just racking him up, Dan the dad, Jim Nye the science guy, whatever. We'll stop there. Genius. But uh, he ended up being, so there's like a mascot for the Tiger Cats. Do you know who it is? I don't know the, Pig skin don't Pete. Know the name, no. Yeah. Okay. So that gentleman passed away or retired, I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. But um, he got the job. Because Alpha One and like myself, him, Hamilton, everyone kind of promoted him and like pushed him up to get the job because it's like a voting thing. So he's Pigskin Pete. So the first year he was Pigskin Pete, they made it all the way to the Grey Cup and he got flown out to do everything. It was awesome. Oh, that was, he was this year Pigskin Pete? Yeah, this Pete. year he was Pigskin Pete and they made it all the way, which is crazy to me. Imagine your first year you make it all the way to the Grey Cup. Might as well just retire. I mean, I guess they got to win one. But that's the most I've ever cared about sports because of the mascot. Who's just a guy that wears a hat. Like that's, <laughs> it's not even a big tiger. You know, I'm a professional. Unlike high spots, I actually brought a couple of Egos Amigos, which you could check out when you're done watching this. Just search it, it's really easy. Pretty much plastered all over this website. They owe me everything, it's not a big deal. But uh, just finishing setting up merch and then uh, showcase the champions. Because I'm a champion and I'm here to showcase my two moves. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's do it. signing in 10 minutes but I just wanted to show you how cool I am that I actually put my clothes in the hotel dresser for the first time in my entire life whoa so cool 
I'm like an organized adult. But yeah, Wrestle Kate. Let's do it. And we're here. Wrestle Kate. My hair looks terrible, but that's okay. We're just getting set up and uh, we'll be good to go in a couple minutes. Oh god, oh god. This is perfect actually. I've been too much of a pussy to go say hi to anybody, so now you can catch me awkwardly waiting beside people to shake their hand even though it means nothing. Let's do it! No. <laughs> <laughs> so last night, it was a great match with C.W. Anderson. I think the most exciting part about the show was the fact that Rich Swan forgot his wrestling shoes. Uh, so he was just walking around like Mike Bailey with no shoes on at all. And I was just like, okay, this is a thing. And he's like, he wrestled in no shoes. Yeah. So he's like, he's a crazy person. I would never do that. Ever, ever, ever. So yeah, that's that was the excitement. The crowd was awesome. Everyone was like, oh, Friday's usually not that good. I feel there's some weird standards in North Carolina because it was packed. And if that's not good, I'm very excited for tonight. Not good for me is like 40 people. <laughs> I lost. No, 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 no. I lost. I lost. I lost. I did. Yeah, and he won. I lost via super kick. I also hit him with a super kick and didn't win. So at the end of the day, I'm shitty at my job. All right. Yeah. Well, what's going on in here today? So we got. Uh, autograph signing, meet and greet, all that jazz where I undercut everyone else because I feel like it's rude to charge for photos. So I do it with free with a purchase because, you know, I'm a sweetheart like that. And uh, yeah, lots of people, lots of wrestlers, lots of famous folk from back in the day. I don't know, it's exciting. Yeah, yesterday was the craziest part actually, just meeting people before the show. Everyone that came up was like, oh, I, I know you are from YouTube. I was like, well, this is oddly strange. And then some lady, this is for you guys, high spots, came over from Australia. Her name's Sue. She stayed for 45 minutes. That's why I know her name. Uh, and she told me that she owned a bunch of the Egos Amigos DVDs all the way over there. So I thought that was very cool. So high spots worldwide. Oh, You think they'll let me? Yes. You know the people that work here better. Uh, will I get in trouble if I move my table? Uh, I don't know if you'll get in trouble. But it's probably this He's guy's He's moving fault. it. It is this guy's fault. He wants to stay with me. And I, I would love to. It would be amazing. But yeah. Are you just going to be on his table? Yeah. Like Rikishi was there, but he moved his stuff. Rikishi did? Yeah. So. Blame him. No, no, no. Well, he probably doesn't want to sit next to him because he's annoying. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. You think it's fine? Let's if go. you get me in trouble, I'm going to be let's so go. mad. Just, okay, come on. All right, let's You're go. You're not over. All right. Six Manias or Willie Mack, I mean, hmm. <laughs> Let's go! That I'm carrying your merch? Hold on, no, 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 no. Black Friday sale, everything must go! <laughs> Horseman will pick up the entire table! You're such a fucking mark. <laughs>
caught that on camera. You forgot what you did? Yeah, dude, I'm out of it. Ago? I'm so tired. You didn't film last night. How nice. Or, or what? How are you tired? You didn't film last night. No, I didn't film anything last night. You, you know, sometimes I like some time for myself. When I wake up at 4 a.m. and have to come all the way here. You knocked on my door to try to wake me up at 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9. Just want to see what my friend was doing. Yeah, I think so. After a wrestling show? I was, I, I was pantsless already. I didn't care for if you had two, pants For about two hours by now. Then. All right. Here we go. Ethan Page, not Ego, Ego Fantastico. I, I thought that was you, but I, I always thought when I saw all Ego, I always thought it was him. Him? For the longest time. Why? Because Ego. Okay. And I didn't know you because you're not really relevant. <laughs> Don't laugh at that shit. But now I know you because you book me. <laughs> you're such a famous, famous Canadian booker. You know, <laughs> famous Canadian. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shirt. <laughs> I'll sell anything at this table, I don't care. We got to get a selfie with you? Yeah, for sure. I don't even need to be in the picture. Look at this, I'm not even famous, just my belt. Alright, where are we going? Who do you want to see? Tessa? Oh yeah, I want to see Muda too, obviously. How long has he been gone? Same size. Can't do a backflip though. <laughs> Me. I don't know if he can either actually. Anymore. One of the best. How are you? Hi, Tessa. Oh, I don't want to pull you away. Okay, okay. This is going terrible. Hey, Julian. Or Ethan. Why do you have a black eye? Oh, don't stop. <laughs> did you catch that? That's terrible. That. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to no, no. cut that. Cut. <laughs> he was going to kill me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> no, I was wrestling in the UK and uh, Giselle Shaw. Oh, she's Canadian. Ate my face. Yeah. Okay. Her chin, on my eye. Right. Freak accident. Looks good on you. I look really tough. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. You look very tough. Yeah. How much is it? It's 40. It's 40? It's 40 if you want to grab it as well. Hey, you gonna pay me back high spots or <laughs> um, Are you doing the sit down interviews and stuff? Yeah, you wanna do one? Well, Michael said that I have to do an interview and well, he didn't say I have to. He asked me if I wanted to, but I don't know who it's with, but it would be cool to do. Yeah, I would love that. Can we make that happen? Just nod Can the camera. That That's confirmation right there. All right, sick. All right. What are you guys doing right now? These super vlog, yeah. Super vlog. Yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Is Seth ever gonna be in front of the camera? I, he's on mine. Like, I'll pop mine out and make sure that he's on it because he hates <laughs> it so much. But he's on. Yeah, see. Oh, well, you know Seth. what you should film? What? Can you hear me? Get the microphone away from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Seth. what you should film? What? Can you hear me? Get the microphone away from me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, mute that, Julian, when you're editing this video. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I'm just Not sorry, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, let's definitely do that interview, though. All right, sick. Okay. 
We'll wait for Swan. Everywhere. Really? Where are they from? Oh, okay. They're jacked. Okay. I mean, just like me and my tag partner. <laughs> Swan! I need to get you on my thing. Okay. So, you know I do the vlog at Impact or wherever. We're always filming. You're always beatboxing, entertaining. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now we're doing a super vlog super for High vlog. Spots on the High Spots Network. The on best the 9 dollars in the biz. Whoa. And I was like, yo, Swan's here. We got to get him on the show. Best 9 dollars in the biz. Yeah. What's the best 99 dollars 9 dollars Yeah. Well, it, it's the best $9.99 in the biz now because I raised my price. But when you used to be able to book me for that, I was the best $9.99 in the hey, biz. <laughs> hey, God dang it. But guess what? He was charging $9.99, but I was undercutting him. I was $9.98, daddy. <laughs> Heck yeah. And that made me the best brother. Let me tell you something. You guys want to have your $9.99 because you're evil. Because when you turn them back over at 666, we don't play that. We play the $9.98 because, daddy, when it's $9.98, it's damn near free. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, did you wrestle last night with those shoes? You had no shoes. I went extreme Bryce Carter style. If you guys don't know who extreme Bryce Carter is, look him up. He's from Portland, Oregon. He's one of the best, the most extreme wrestlers you will ever see in your life. His finish is a suplex from the top rope. Three, two. To the outside through a flaming table. Every match. Check him out. Is he on uh, WWE 2K? <laughs> 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 yeah, he's on WWE 2K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That was great. You shouldn't have brought this camera over here to me. <laughs> he was like, he's like, hey, what, what's exciting things that happened yesterday? I go, Swan forgot his shoes. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? Let's not. Forgot my shoes. Let's freaking go to 7 o'clock in the morning, okay? I have this beautiful NGW heavyweight oh my championship. God, that is gorgeous. This is a great championship. And I have my gear. I have it on the couch. Yeah. I got my shoes. Yeah. I got it on the couch. All right. I got my white tape. Oh, yeah. That I usually get from Ethan Page on Impact shows because, you know. Every I'm, single loop. And when he says hi to me, I don't assume he's saying hello. I literally go, oh, you need tape? Oh, you need tape. That's exactly what happened yesterday. I was like, man, guess what? I actually got one for once. But all that stuff is on the side. I've got the beautiful NGW Heavyweight Championship on the armrest of my couch. And I'm putting everything in my bag. I'm like, yeah. My flight's at 940, I'm up at 7 o'clock, I'm ready to go, be out here doing things the right way, <laughs> professional, I, a brother is getting dressed, about to brush his teeth, and then my beautiful, my beautiful, beautiful hot Asian wife comes down the steps, <laughs> and she says, Richie, I see that belt on the armrest of the couch. Don't forget to put it in your bag. I said, baby, I already got all my stuff laid out. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hop in the car. Get to the airport. Get to the check-in. Check my stuff in. Check my bag in. Oh, snap. I got clear. It's only 8 o'clock. My flight leaves at 940. You know what? Let me go get me something to eat real quick. Eat me some eggs. Just going? Eat oh, me yeah, some you, bacon. You wait. Eat me some potatoes. Mm, I'm feeling great. Oh, it's 840. <laughs> I'm good. Let me get me some water. Oh, let me go to the bathroom. Oh, 
I got clear. Go through clear. Everything's straight. Everything's wonderful. Everything is on time. Your boy gets through security. Excuse me, I got a dip real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get through security. My man at the TSA, he says, Rich, oh snap, you know my name. Is this your bag? Yeah, it was my bag. He puts it through the scanner one more time. I can see it's a little light, but it don't really go through my mind. It goes through the scanner one more time. All right, maybe I forgot to put my belt, take it out, and that's why it went through the scanner and there was some problems. No, it came right through the scanner. All right, you're free to go. I got my shoes, my slippers, got my backpack, my toys, my pictures. I left that belt on the damn armrest. I left this beautiful NZW heavyweight championship on the armrest. And at this time, guess what? It's 9 o'clock. Guess what time? My flight boards. 9.15. Guess how long I live away from the airport. 20 minutes away. <laughs> Your boy ain't making that flight. I call. Your man Cody. I say, bro, I fucked up. I left the belt in the house and I'm gonna have to go back home and there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to make this damn flight. Is the match today or is it tomorrow? Because if it's tomorrow, Sue Young, she's driving up. She's driving up. She can drive up and she can have the belt and everything will be golden. I can get on this flight. I can have just one hour of a nap and it will be fine. No. Because Spirit Airlines, you're the biggest hell airlines in the world. You only fly out once? One time a day to Asheville? Damn you. I had to wait one week if I wanted to fly, and guess what? WrestleCade ain't one week. So I call Sue, and she says, Rich, we got a car. We can drive. So we drive eight hours, eight and a half hours, all the way to WrestleCade, daddy. But I got my beautiful championship, you damn right. But by the time I get into the building, by the time I walk into the locker room, I see my beautiful friend, Ethan Page, right here. Offered him tape. And the first thing he says to me, he says, oh, I got you, man, you need white tape. And I said, no, 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 actually, I got white tape today. I'm feeling bad, I'm good. I got my belt, I got my tape, I got my gear, I got my jackets, I got my glasses. Your boy ain't got his damn shoes. <laughs> and at this point, all I'm thinking is, honey, Vinny, take me back. Because I ain't got what it takes to cut it on my own independently. I ain't got what it takes to cut it in the impact wrestle. Baby, please, take me back. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not Steve Austin. I ain't going to do that. But damn it, I wrestled barefoot. Matt Riddle, you ain't bad. You ain't the only one that can do it. And that's how I'm gonna wrestle from now on. I'm sorry for taking up all y'all time. <laughs> oh, hey, we're done. That's enough. You did all the work for me. Thanks, Rich. I mean, sure, hey, look at all of this. This is a beautiful. I don't want to interrupt. I don't want to. I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely one up. I love all all great talented people. Yeah. Taking a pick. I don't want to interrupt. Jordan, how much is it gonna cost to get you on my? 
Well, technically it's the vlog. I was gonna say, this is really fancy. It's, uh, we're doing a super vlog for high spots. Okay. We're just stopping and saying hello to all my friends. What else? Oh, you like my calendar, it's kid friendly. That is, this, this <laughs> is kid friendly? <laughs> what kid? Yeah. <laughs> 12 and up. 12 and up? Oh my. This is a great read for children. Can I read one on here? Yeah, you can read one. Okay. What are you gonna do? You have gonna a, go do you have a favorite one? I mean, I do, but it's like, let's see. <laughs> people people send pictures of their bodies? Yeah, do you see this? <laughs> oh, where, where was it? Oh, was this one. Here we go. That's a good set of apps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Okay, this one here? Yeah. He used to, this guy this is a security guard at a show I used to work for in St. Louis. Okay. I get fired as a security guard at SNPW. I do not care. I like lick them thigh and more, baby. I know should be saying this. What the fuck? Beep it. Uh, you are hot, babe. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> Jordan says, what the fuck? And then, <laughs> and then he goes, sorry, was not thinking right. With some of my dumbass friends. <laughs> Purchase this right now. Is there a third one coming out? Yeah, there's already a third one. Okay. Three, three volumes. Three volumes. She's a an author. <laughs> so. Oh yeah! Point. Shout out to Joy Ryan too. There's an option to close DMs on Twitter. Is the online version of well, she shouldn't have been wearing that dress. Oh, you can get the book at jordangracewrestler.com. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Trish. <laughs> Thanks, Julian. You're welcome. <laughs> what did you Good. We just, uh, might be at the same table, though. All right, all right. Oh, yo, there's a TNA poster. Get that. And it's TNA. 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 So cool. You guys make these? My husband does. My husband does. It's very cool. Thank you. It's very cool. You had one person come ask me where you were. Hey! How many people? One. I told him you left. <laughs> You're a dick. I left without my merch? So you were coming after the show. I hate you so much. You say I'll be right back? Thank you. He said, he just <laughs> asked like, me. He's asking me about a five dollars each page. It was Whoa! <laughs> he's hired. You know what? I, I, booked, I booked him once, and, and in the entire locker room, in front of everyone, he goes, "Yeah, that's just my buddy price." I was like, "What the hell?" You what? Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's higher than me. It costs way more to look like this than it does to look like this, though. <laughs> You're coming along. Yeah, I like to hang out with Brian every once in a while. We were gonna work out this weekend, but you know we were. You said no. <laughs> That's true. Did you or did you I not? Did, I did. I took the weekend off. Bam. Very rare. Very rare. Yeah. So I decided to do the same. Just you know, if Brian's gonna take the weekend yeah, right? off. What would Brian do? What would Brian <laughs> yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. He's taking the weekend off. Yeah. So, so I did too. That makes sense. How are you doing? Good to see you, as always. You're one of my faves. I saw you, and I, he was like, "Oh, we gotta go talk to some people." And I was like, "Get girls over there! It's the best." You saw Brian Cage. Didn't you? I didn't see it. I did it. I did it. I did it. It's your smile. It blows the room. Oh, I'm kind of like a blimp. You can just advertise on the side. Charles Streamer put advertising on the flashing lights. Float around the room. You have a big game girl, the little fluffy things, like just dance all the music outside the car set. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what they're called, but that's that, that's. Oh, when I go to Mexico, I'm having a bunch of gay girls with puffy shirts down there, standing out like Corona girls. Yeah. <laughs> you on the show tonight? No. What? You're the hard. You're literally the hardest working wrestler in the room right now. <laughs> and that's not even a joke. I was on, off, on, off. I don't know what's going on. Ah, how about this? How about gay girls? Like the first like named guy I got to work in the Indies while I was coming up. And he goes, hey, hey kid, just tell me what you want to do. And you know, we'll, we'll do it. So I'm over here, I come back to him. And I got like these like four different 50 50 spots I want to do. This big shot. And he's like, all right, all right. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, well, you can take this bump and this bump. He goes, okay. I'm like, oh shit, can you let me do all this stuff? He really worked hard, man. Yeah, and he got, then he goes, is that and I then 17 staples in my hand. Wait, what? I, I don't know if you had something. Yeah, when I came back from Madrid, like, oh, I thought race, he I did got, it to you. No, oh, God, no, 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 no. No, I worked here one time though. I, had, I remember I had like 17 staples in my hand. Did he fall on the floor? 
No, he caused a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the one time Gangrel. Yeah, no floor bump today. No, I'm no, wrestling no, Brian Cage. No, no. no. <laughs> I, I was over in the corner for another one. <laughs> Can he lift me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. No, no. It's always good. Oh, he always yeah. leads you through a good match. Stop. He doesn't give himself enough credit. No, he does good. No, I, was, I was stoked. I was like, because everybody else I saw, you know, around the, the NorCal parts, there was like a name guy. He wouldn't take shit, do shit, nothing. He's over there working his ass off. I remember looking back too, I was like, why did I call so much shit for poor game Grell? Like after like the third like crazy run, go, go, go spot, he's like, fuck, why am I doing this shit? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites. Always. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're here too, but I definitely I've, came I've, to I've, Have you ever seen him train kids? No. Dude, so he's like the nicest guy in the locker room. He's so calm, he's so chill. <laughs> Me and my buddy Brandon Bottom go to his, uh, his class when he was over there in LA teaching for a Knox Pro. This guy's a goddamn drill sergeant, man. I was like, who's this dude? He's an asshole. Oh, he's but it was, good. But it, was, it, was, it was awesome though. It was an asshole in a very good way. Like, this guy's amazing. <laughs> now you gotta get the best out of right? him. Man. But it's so good. It's like complete polar opposite. I'm like, I've never seen this day before ever. I've evolved as a trainer now. I, I, I'm more a little mellow. But still, 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 I still, no, no. You can pull it out of it, but you got to know who you work with. Who, yeah, which, which yeah, person yeah. it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a sensitive society. Especially. Right? <laughs> well, well, but if I, I believe they have talent, I'll be on you. 100%. I believe, yeah, I'll, I'll write you gotta it. You got to get it out of it. Yeah. Because I believe in you. I believe in you more than you believe in you. Yeah. I believe in you first. I want you to believe in you. You want to know? <laughs> Gangrel believed in me once. I do believe in you. He believed in me, WrestleMania weekend. He believed I could drink as much as him. <laughs> <laughs> this, not true at all. I found that out very quickly. <laughs> I, I missed the show because I hurt my back, okay? So. <laughs> Drink so much, you straight your back. Oh <laughs> my god. To be fair, they shouldn't run shows at midnight. Oh, yeah. I, I booked on another one of those black label midnight shows again. Oh, like, man. Like, that was. Another booking at midnight on WrestleMania. Four shows in one day, like five. Ah. Man, you're not going to stop. You don't have that option. That's just Party not too you. much in the 80s and 90s. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so making so up for it now. <laughs> Hey, oh, better late than never, right? Once I figure the diet out, I'll be all right. So I mean, about... you might be talking to the right guy. I was. He was talking about meal preps before you came Oh, on. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's that a good all. segue. We're out of here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, you okay. guys are the best. Thanks for time my gauntlets last night. Oh, yeah, no problem. Anytime. Anytime. That's what best friends are for. Best Time's friends. Best friends that don't invite you to their weddings, not even the fake ones. <laughs> <laughs> not even the fake ones. Hey, but you got everybody a raise, huh? Or a uh, bonus for the, for the wedding. Damn right. Hey, are you going to go to Teddy Hart's wedding? He invited you on YouTube last night. Oh, yeah. You're the only two. What? Really? And you know about it, I don't. How do you know about my invitation? I'm obsessed with their YouTube channel. It's the best. Check it out. You got to bug him, too. Whoop. Whatever he gets. I know Sue, but she's, like, in character. Yeah, so she doesn't talk too well. Uh... Oh my, yup. We're going over there. Look at that though. Hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, I gotta get this for the vlog. Can I come behind or no? Yeah, come on. What's up guys? I'm sorry, look. I knew whose belt that was. We met yesterday, you chained a TNA on the vlog. Did you steal that thing? Yes. Why? <laughs> you come here with a belt? Yeah. You got to defend that shit, I won. <laughs> I got to take it. <laughs> I let her hold it. And she, next thing I you know, she's putting it on. Oops. Like, what? That's a good belt, by the Looks good. That was mine. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm out of here. See ya. How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh! Can you guys send your PayPal? Yes! Yeah. We met so briefly last Manny weekend when yeah. we did the US versus the world thing. Yeah. Scott's in. Like in in? I told him with the idea of the match, and he was a little concerned about the body guy challenge standing next to Brian. Brian? But I said, you'll smooth it out. If there's any problems, just talk to you. Well, I don't know. Okay, deal. Yeah. So he's in, though? He's so in. even the debate and everything? Like, yeah, but I told him you'd talk to him, and if there were any problems at all, let's talk to you. No. Yeah. No. No. What's wrong? I Michael from High Spots. He is his company. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Yo, BMD.
Can I have a drink? Yeah, go right ahead, bud. Oh, sweet. You know what? I'm gonna grab one of these. Hey, whoa, 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 no, no, you can't have one of those. You can have a sip of that. No, man, I want, I want the beer. No, you can't have the beer. Why? Because Ethan Page gave me the beer and said I will know when to use it. Don't open it. You'll know when the time is right. I'm pretty confident it's not right now. But no, no, not right now. It's not the right time. I have this. You can have a sip of that. I'm sorry. Next time I'll bring more. But just please, uh, pineapple man, that's disgusting. Uh, Keep that, keep you, you do you. Sorry, bud. It's not the right time. Question mark's great. Hey, Taya. Hi. Before you do this, can you do this? Well, I don't know. What are you going to pay me? <laughs> hey, what are we going to pay her? Shit all. Hey, do you want to do an actual interview where you get paid? I can hit you? No, no, no. interview. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, I get to hit you? Not right now, though. Like, later. Yeah, if we have time. Oh, I don't know what your schedule's like. No, I leave tomorrow. Like, this is my only day. So, so tonight like, you'd have, have to do it? have to be tonight, yeah. Are you, like, a stay up late to make an extra... <laughs> All right, cool. You know. We'll get to that. <laughs> oh, I, sent, I sent you a link to. Oh, thank you, man. I'll check that out. Heck yeah. All right, cool. And I saw, That's all good. I saw you come in and then you like wandered up. Yeah, I switched tables. It was like a whole thing. Hornswoggle pretty much kidnapped me. It was very weird. Yeah. 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 I yeah. can yeah. imagine. I know. Yeah. How, how's things going? Good. It's been good actually. Yeah. You know. My first year doing this without. It's my first year ever. Really, it's my third year. But normally I have John. Yeah. So it was me stumbling in with suitcases and heels by myself, like trying to make it all work. But hey, I did it. You guys know what that means, right? There was no servant, is what she's saying, to like carry your bags. It's true. <laughs> no, it's it sucks though. I'm like I like doing so much. Yeah, things, I so. know. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little bit more organization on my. Aww. But I made it work, all and right. I'm excited because this has always been a good. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. loving it. Yeah. It's been great. It's like smaller than WrestleCon, but like just different. I don't know. It's just, okay. It's cooler. Yeah. In a certain way. Yeah. So, uh, people have been saying that it's uh, Southern WrestleCon. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I like that. Yeah. I know, like so many fans, so many fans have been saying like they saw me at like shows in Atlanta and like the Georgia area, and I'm like, I guess that's not. I'm, I'm very bad with American geography. So am I though. <laughs> Canadians. We're both Canadian. Canadians. Do not forget that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I forget, but I guess it's not that far. So. All right. Cool. All right. We'll talk about that interview, though. Yes. I'll let you do this Are thing. Are you on the show? Yeah. Okay. I'll you see too? You. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Well, I'm, I'm in the main event, okay? Like, you should know that. I should. I don't even know my own match, though. We are. That's the entire. I got you on the YouTube channel, but then we got this going on the high spot wow. network. So That's much a, going it's on a here. whole it's a whole thing. Are you doing a lot of interviews this weekend? Uh, I'm doing a few. Okay. Yeah. This is I don't know which camera to look at. Either one you Either. want. This one pays better, so look at okay, this one. I'll <laughs> definitely look at that one then. <laughs> well, who do you got? Who's who's the big interview you got this weekend? So probably probably the biggest is uh, is Ethan Page. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. He doesn't want to give the scoops. I understand. If, well, if, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, this week's a big one. All right. Yeah. I, I, here's the thing. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this person's going to be on the show. And then they and then it yeah, doesn't yeah. work out. I, I and know then that. And they're like, hey, so what happened with so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah. Sorry. No. We're, uh, wrestlers are very aloof. They but agree I, to everything, and they show up to half the stuff. Yeah. yeah, I did an interview with John Moxley last week. That's going to be that? on my channel. That's this great. Week. What is your channel? Just so. Oh, my channel is Chris Van Vliet, V A N V L I E T. Yeah. Uh, I had to spell it out because it's very weird, you know, how it's not spelled and said. So uh, that's my YouTube channel, and I interview all your favorite wrestlers, including this guy. And if you're watching this, I'm probably one of your favorites, so check out my interview with Chris. It was please, awesome. Please. And I wasn't famous till I did the interview. You're famous? Oh, you said I was! Oh. No, what the f That's it. Beep that out, too. <laughs> Damn it. Thanks, Chris.
appreciate it. Is that act? No, it's not. Actually, where's he going? Freight train. Freight train. I got it. Freight train. I'm a big fan. Uh, I yeah. got a show on High Spots Network. My yeah. name's Ethan Page. I wrestle for Impact Wrestling. Uh huh. I love you. Yeah. Can I get a picture with you? Sure. This is, this is the best. Hey, Sapphire, you. Happy late Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you, Freight Train. You're welcome. Man, this is great. Yeah, I don't want to push my luck. Are you okay? I have a I have a vlog on YouTube. Uh huh. Could I get you to do choo choo for me? Yeah. Oh God, this is the best. Okay, all right. Yeah, let me know when you're Whenever ready. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, choo choo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're the best. Have you ever wrestled in Canada? No. Would you I, like to? Yeah, I'd like to come to Canada if any promoter up there want to book. I'm a promoter. I would book you. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You have a passport? No, I have no passport. I got a passport going overseas. It expired, dang it, about five years. Okay. It expires in five years or expired five years? It inspired in five years. Jake gave me that passport back in 2014. They told us it's good for eight years. Wait, 2014, so it should be. Okay, would you be able to, you'll be able to let me know if he can actually do it, right? Jake, he can help you. Help you. I would 1,000% like to bring you out to Canada to wrestle. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh-huh. Dude, this is awesome. I, I tried to get on TNA Impact, but yep. I said, Dutch Vettel talking about my wrestling skills ain't good enough to be on Impact. I said, why not? They're good for everybody else's show. Yeah, and you're one of the most entertaining people. Dude, this is... I'm yep. offended by that, Dutch Mantel. Also, Alpha One Wrestling will 1,000% have Freight Train on a show next year. As long as this passport's good, you have my word. You'll wrestle in Canada for sure. Yeah. Thank you, man. But, yeah, I will. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What? It was good. But he was scared of my chest chops, but it was still good. <laughs> I, I had to tell him, if you too soft to take my chest chop, don't work me no more. I said, you got that upper body, your upper body's supposed to protect you from pain. I said, he's been in this business for over 30 years, shouldn't be scared of no chest chops. I said, you're the two-time WCW champion. You, you said that to Scott Steiner? Yeah. I had, I'm too afraid to say hello. I'm not afraid to say hello, what's up? A man don't scare me. Oh my God! Did you see that? Sh a man don't scare me. Oh my God! How's the audio on that thing? I don't know. He's got headphones on. How's the audio? It's all right. He's a. It's all right. It's going on the best 9.99. Stretch it out, <laughs> dude. That was the best. Like I don't even care if you delete it. I'm so happy that happened for me. <laughs> huh? Oh, he's the best. And I got to book him in Canada now. This is the best. Okay. Hey, do you talk? Oh, yeah, you talk yeah. on my vlog. Yeah. So I'm doing a super vlog for High Spots Network. What's up? Oh, okay. Oh, you putting all that money away? Yeah, buddy. I mean, <laughs> see, Impact guys, man, they're kind of over some yeah, places. Right. Word. No, you're good. I just don't want to squish your. Where's Kevin in? Oh, he's not. He's not here today. No KM? No, oh, not today. Hey, can I take a selfie with you? Sure. Of Just because I love you. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Too much cleavage. <laughs> yeah! Thanks, Paula. A little self conscious of you. Why? I'm sitting down. Yeah, but that makes your chest look big. No, it's sad. It droops. It's no, but sad. Like, it's it sad and droops. It's so when funny. I'm standing up, if I'm leaning forward, no. Yo, Follow Boss said one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life yes. about the stand up tanning bed. Okay. You want to tell the people? All right, so, like, I was just talking about it before back in the day. I, like, I've, I've been losing weight lately. And he's looking great. He's got huge shoulders, big ass delts. So, it's kind of a, a badge of honor that I can actually walk in to a stand up uh, tanning booth. Back then, I barely did, but I would have uh, grill marks, like a cheeseburger, because they'd have the little 
uh, you know, the grates, and like it would just cover my stomach, and I'd have legit grill marks on uh, my, my stomach when I tan. But how he said it was, he goes, man, I lost so much weight, I don't get grill marks in the tanning <laughs> bed anymore. <laughs> I said it in the locker room, and like everybody got quiet. Yeah, but you were holding your... <laughs> I died. I died. Yeah. He's literally, it's, it's sad that they, they're letting you talk more now? Yes. Good. One of the funniest and nicest people I know. Appreciate and it. We, we, were, we were like, oh, let's walk around and go see some people. And I was like, oh, you have to go say hi to follow. It's a must. I love him. So check him out. Yeah. yeah. Check my sh Wait, I can't see. You can do whatever. Uh, Seth will edit it out. He, oh, yeah. Word. He but loves I didn't say it. some people swear. Really? He loves it. Yeah. You, you <laughs> <laughs> Say all this Okay. I'm cool. leaving it in. Okay. I'm leaving it in. Can you just put a panda face over? Oh, like now you're asking a little too oh, much. Oh, no? Okay, word. Oh, wait, you can do that for him and not me? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, word, word, word. You beat a lot of stuff on your show. You haven't beat... Oh, that's true. Yeah, I do say a lot of controversial shit. I called <laughs> drug addict once. Oh, my God. Did yeah. That? Nah, it hasn't been released yet. And don't beat that up. <laughs> but anyways, dude, this is great. I'm so glad I got you on this. Hell yeah. Yeah. Remember that time I beat you in Street Fighter? I'm just saying. I'm the real life E-Honda, dog. <laughs> oh, did you see that planned transition we just did? <laughs> we got a couple more autographs to go. Uh, hopefully lots for me, that'd be great. And then uh, at the end of this, yeah, we know, Swaggle's famous. Uh, at the end of this, we've got the Super Show tonight, which I'm super pumped about because yesterday we were talking about how there's going to be seas of people. This is my first WrestleCade, so I'm kind of pumped, but yeah. Who are you wrestling tonight? Must be nice. All right. I don't I don't know either, so <laughs> we'll see. Show up and steal the show. Steal the show. Bring the house. Thank you. Don't touch me. Thank you for the house. That was your gimmick wrist. <laughs> how many times? How many times have you gotten? Hey, thank you guys. We'll see you at the next thing. <laughs>convention circuit i am exhausted <laughs> but you were also up with us last night filming mm -hmm. until like 1 30. high spots network best 9.99 in the biz hopefully this comes out and then you can go watch my interviews with willie mack and tessa blanchard they were great last night um the whole wrestlecade weekend's been great this is day three i'm thankful to whatever higher power made me the opening match today but uh yeah i'm excited that i was here but i'm very excited to go home so let's check out day three of WrestleCade with Ethan Page.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are here live. WrestleCade Weekend, AML Wrestling presents the day after. I'm Josh Gary, joined here by my broadcast partner, Brad Stutz, and we're starting it off. No better way I can think of than to book in a fantastic three-day weekend filled with professional wrestling than with you, Brad Stutz, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit the ground running, buddy. Yes, we are. It is the culmination of WrestleCade weekend, day three of three of huge activities here in Winston-Salem. And we've got two world-class athletes starting it off. All ego, Ethan Page, one half of the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the North. And that just goes to show you the entire professional wrestling world convened in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for WrestleCade weekend. That some of these guys that have two, three, four matches this weekend, are they giving it 100% every single time? Of course they are, but how much can be left in the tank at the end of the weekend? And as you said, Ethan Page with a big win at the WrestleCade Super Show, came up short against C.W. Anderson and went for the ride from Blanco Loco. Man. Ooh, ran right through him on the shoulder tackle. Yeah, you don't want to be standing on the tracks when the train's coming through there, Blanco. In the past year, I've transformed my body, my mind, to be the best C.W. Anderson that I ever was. And the AML world belongs to the best wrestler here. George South, today that's you. Well, okay. No consent. I want my donuts. You hear what? me? I want my donuts. No donuts. Which don't house? steal my. Ah! Don't steal my camera. <laughs> we have others. Yeah. If I didn't have my jacket, I could have done the thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit. <laughs> Is there actually a fire? I don't know. They're the cop. That's all right. Well, uh, so the fire alarm uh, went off, but they kept wrestling. So the show ended up ending. Um, everything's good. Back to the hotel. WrestleCade was awesome. And uh, tomorrow, my flight's at 11 a.m., so I actually get to sleep in a little bit. Sucks that uh, I'm gonna miss some time with the family. But I'm home all week, and I am off on Friday now, because that Cactus League wrestling is very unprofessional, and just decided to not get me my travel, or contact me about anything, or advertise their event, or, yeah. So I'm home Friday, which is great, so I'll make up that day with the family then. And, uh, yeah, this is a great weekend. WrestleCade was a lot of fun run by a lot of fun people and uh, it's a good time. Hopefully we get to do it again next year. Make sure you subscribe and uh, I'm ordering Uber Eats. See you later.